Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Captain Chan Plays Cold Waters, where in 1984, Soviet North Atlantic campaign, and we are now in free roam. As you can see, I'm in the North Atlantic Ocean, and we are about to intercept this convoy. Yes, I prefer shooting convoys. As we're shooting convoys, we're loading anti-surface uh, torpedoes. So we definitely don't need the uh, votal pads. So we're now using USET 80s and the uh, test 71s. The test 71s are the red tips, and those uh, and the other torpedo with the orange uh, stripe head is the USET 80, which has optional. Wacoming mode, even though it is primarily an audio auditory seeking. Okay, high threat environment. Sonar Sierra 2 is classified as merchant. Con Sonar Sierra 2 is classified as merchant. Con Sonar Sierra 3 is classified as merchant. Well, that looks like that's all the ships. Two, uh, two cargoes and one destroyer. Okay, let's see if we can fast forward a bit. Torpedo room, tube one ready. Come left to two, seven, nine. Con, sonar, torpedo in the water, torpedo in the water. Bearing, three, two, eight. Shoot tube three. Aye, sir. Torpedo in the water, torpedo in the water, bearing one, two, nine. Con, torpedo in the water, torpedo in the water, bearing one, two, nine. 
torpedo room. Tube three ready. Shoot tube three. Aye, sir. Shift for ultra quiet. Make turns for three zero knots. Maneuvering eye. Passing thirteen hundred feet. One, zero, zero, die by. Passing 1,400 feet. I think I just noticed I forgot to retrieve the toad array. Passing 1,400 on. Toad array has been damaged. No, I forgot something. Passing 1,300 feet. Passing on. Our rudder has been damaged. And this is where plot armor comes in. Sonar, we are cavitating. Con sonar, no longer cavitating. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Aye, sir. Con maneuvering, making turns for five knots. Con torpedo room, tube one ready.
Yeah, the U-80 did a circle before going after the Spruance. It's hilarious. But you notice that the it pretty much ignored the decoys. Uh, that proves the U-80 is doing the uh, wakehoming mode. Now let's see if this uh, the big uh, 65 is going to catch. In the meantime, I am flooding. Notice my def is set to 100, even though I'm sinking past 400. In fact, I'm sinking past 460. Uh, this is some good plot armor coming in again. So I basically have to do almost emergency surface, but not quite. at least uh, one torpedo is tracking and if we can get uh, to near the surface we should be able to pump ourselves out the compartments don't always correspond to where they link the diagram says they link to so uh, just try a couple different compartments if you cannot find the uh, if you when you so when you click it, uh, it goes to the right department that's being flooded. So anyway, looks like uh, one of these torpedoes, or I, I'm pretty sure I already fired at both of those uh, convoys. So, uh, well, we have plenty of torpedoes. Let's see how how they line, line how they turn out. Okay, well, that turned out pretty well. So one is seeking the one on the left. Somehow it prefers... Okay, now we have to watch out for the helicopters, because the helicopters can still drop torpedoes on me. for ultra quiet. You can ignore the debriefing about not being your objective. As long as we sink ships, they're happy. Three of the big torpedoes left. Three of the regular torpedoes left. Two Vogel pads left. We can attack one cowboy. With only six torpedoes left, attacking uh, a convoy, let's just say, is a, a bit on the difficult side. We have to be quite accurate, because if you achieve less than 50% uh, kill rate on your primary targets, in other words, the convoy cargo ships, uh, you're deemed a failure. But let's give it a try. 
contact bearing two seven one designated make depth one two die by since we're near the surface we may as well get a yes ember Sonar Sierra 2 is classified as merchant. Con Sonar Sierra 1 is classified as escort. Con Sonar Sierra 3 is classified as merchant. Sonar new contact bearing two six eight designated Sierra four. Con sonar Sierra four is classified as escort. Con sonar Sierra five is classified as merchant. Sonar new contact bearing two six one designated Sierra six. Con sonar lost contact Sierra one last bearing two seven five contact faded. Con dive at two zero zero die by. Sonar Sierra 7 is classified as escort. Sonar regained contact on Sierra 1, bearing 2, 7, 6. Con Sonar new contact bearing 2, 5, 2, designated Sierra 8. Con 
on sonar. Sierra 8 is classified as escort. Okay, pretty heavily defended. Four escorts to four ships. Their formation is weird, though. Yeah, why does this have three ships in one row and then one ship in the second row rather than four ships in a row or a square? This is a very weird formation. Torpedo room, tube one ready. Sir. Right to three, one, nine, helm I. Right to two nine five Helm I. Make turns for one zero knots maneuvering I. Con maneuvering, making turns for one zero.
You see my big mistake here. I didn't treat the incoming torpedo seriously. I should have turned even further to the north and uh, sped up. I guess I want to treat that uh, torpedo number four a little too gently and that's why I ended up eating that torpedo. Don't do what I do. Weapon countermeasure homing. Con, dive at four zero zero, dive by. Make depth zero, dive by. Flooding in the engine room. And I was wondering, where the heck did that torpedo came from? Turns out, if you look closely, there's somebody else pinging me. It's another sub. There are more targets than I have more torpedoes for. And this means a drastic change in targeting priority. We need a volopad and we need to go shallow because I need to kill that Los Angeles or at least keep it from interfering with my attacks on the convoy.
steady course. Aye, sir. Now that the uh, four cargo ships have all stabilized on their escape vectors, uh, this is the good time to use the long range torpedoes before they get too far away. Well, isn't that just fun? Caught by your own, your, by your own torpedo. You can see that uh, the voter pad I dropped inspired the Los Angeles to go flank, and the flank had attracted his own Mark 48 passive, which is the yellow torpedo over there. I'm pretty sure he can outrun his own torpedoes if he wants to, and he's definitely planning some revenge because he just fired at something. Although it's more likely he fired on the decoy, because the decoy is getting pretty close to him. And uh, his evasion has pushed both uh, the passive that went after him and his own torpedo toward the decoy. So good job, Los Angeles. Good job, but that's what the decoy is for. On the other hand, the closer you get to the decoy, the more likely all the torpedoes that ended up on the decoy will come back toward you. I mean, check it out. Uh, two torpedoes that went after the decoy, after circling the decoy, is now going back to where the Los Angeles. Isn't that fun? Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing two zero zero. In the meantime, uh, my torpedo number three. Uh, from tube 3 is going after the Nox. Well, those two are... It seems like the torpedo that was sent from the Los Angeles is a gift that keeps on giving. He tried to send it you back to the decoy, the and now is being uh, the by decoy is sending it back to him. And now he has to dodge the Torpedoes from its own side. Those are it's a very weird yo -yos. And, those are NATO torpedoes. and just look at all those torpedoes. All the torpedoes chasing the decoy now, after f missing the decoy, are now going after Los Angeles. And somehow he's still alive. Yeah, he just ran, uh, one of the torpedoes on the decoy has just ran out of juice. And my, another circling, but that one's definitely searching. All right. One container down. Right now, with the long range and the passive torpedo has gone over. after the Type Forty Two, after missing the Los Angeles. We'd be golden. But a different torpedo is picking up on the Los Angeles. In the meantime, I'm trying to. I think I might be directing number three against the Knox, but 
doesn't really matter. That torpedo is going to miss. It's not going to hit anything. I-43 is dropping decoys, I mean noisemakers. And the torpedo, that's a win. Okay, where's this one going? Should double check it. Ah, so many torpedoes in the water. Well, looks like Ty 42 just uh, escaped. On the other hand, my number three has acquired a Nox. He's going to drop a noisemaker soon. Uh, don't worry about those. Uh, the big battle is being fought like right over here in this corner, and the Los Angeles is enjoying the hospitality of uh, every torpedo he has sent against me. Uh, ended up being sucked by the, against the decoy is basically just redirected back at him. It's hilarious. It looks like the 42 just avoided uh, fate. Okay, uh, my number three has been distracted, but uh, we'll just give it a little nudge to get it back on course. Remember, we entered the scenario with only four torpedoes. Okay, we got two of those. We may yet get a third one. Oh, sorry, six torpedoes and two voodoo pads. Or voodoo pads, or whatever, how, however you say that. Concept Sonar, noisemaker bearing two, seven, one. By getting two of those, I meant. Uh, two of the freighters are down, so we have fulfilled our objective. You're supposed to be killing a convoy, you only have to kill 50% of its ships. Once you get 50% or over, your objective is uh, complete. Nox is down. Let's see what else uh, is happening. Uh, the poor AI still believing to still believing in shooting the decoy, but as long as he has got Mark 48s to waste, uh, we'll let him. In the meantime, we'll I think we'll drop another voodoo pad on him. He's not going that fast, so we'll just drop within half a kilometer. Wait a minute, there's a minimum range. Arr. Shoot two 
five. Aye, sir. Okay, we've confirmed that two of the cargo ships are down, and there are four of them. Uh, and the Los Angeles is still there, and the Type 42 is getting a little annoying. Oh, this is the British uh, Sea Dart. It's looking for the Votopad I launched. And, uh... Obviously, it's not going to hit anything. Looks like my voto pad drop was almost perfect. Sonar, noisemaker, bearing, one, four, eight. Come right to, two, seven, six, helm, I. Sonar, noisemaker, bearing, one, four, zero. Come left to, one, eight, two, helm, I. Make depth, one, two, dive, I. Sonar, noisemaker, bearing, one, three, five. Come left to, zero, eight, zero, helm, I.
on sonar. Noisemaker bearing one, two, nine. Come left to zero, nine, zero. Helm, I. Sonar, noisemaker, bearing, one, two, seven. Con, sonar, lost contact, Sierra, one, last bearing, two, seven, nine, contact is in the baffles. Sonar lost contact. Sierra 5. Last bearing 2, 5, 9. Contact is in the baffles. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra 2. Last bearing 2, 4, 8. Contact is in the baffles. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra 2. Last bearing 2, 4, 8. Contact breaking up. Right, we got another one. Contact Sierra eight. Last bearing two four one. Contact is in con helm. Steady course. Make depth zero. Die by. Ah, great. Uh, the sonar buoy almost got me, and the helicopter is now toward the west. Don't really need to head toward the west or the southwest, because I already sank two of the cargo ships. And there is a chance my third long torpedo will sink another one. Don't know about the odds of that, but uh, it will go on. And looks like the Votopad has managed to outrun my second... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the heck did I say? The Los Angeles had to outrun the torpedo drop by my second Votopad. So we'll just wait for it to slow down and then we'll drop a third one on him. And there it goes. If you're wondering why I'm going zero, I want to shoot the chopper down. And be it looks like my sail is starting to poke through, which is why you're starting to hear shell splashes. The destroyer is firing at me. Ah, I'm too close. There's a minimal arming distance. I'm right here, you idiot! Ooh, finally! Make depth one five, die by. Ah. Killing the helicopter was uh, it's very satisfying. Unfortunately, this also means I'm near the surface and the destroyer is busy shooting at me with its cannon. Yes, that's what's happening. See all the shell splashes? Of course, this all just now makes me want to kill the destroyer too, and I do have two torpedoes to do it with. A 
third container ship had gone down, which means all three of my big torpedoes has found their marks. Extraordinary hit rate. Well, well, seems like the Los Angeles has survived yet another torpedo drop by the Volopad. And it has fired on me. Alright. Fine. I'll introduce you to one of my decoys, and I'm going to introduce you to my other torpedo. Uh, these are mostly for fun. Because right, we have already accomplished our mission. We get just we will just dump these uh, torpedoes off, fire off the decoy, and get the heck out of here. As you can see, after dropping the uh, both torpedoes and the decoy, we're just booking it out of there. Northeast at 30 knots.
Shoot two five. Aye, sir. Make depth one two. Dive by. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra nine. Last bearing one nine one. Contact breaking up. Huh. We finally got him. Wow, both the 42 and the Los Angeles are sunk. Uh, I guess that's pretty much it. Once I get rid of all the torpedoes in the area, which obviously includes my own decoy. Okay. Just let me disengage. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra one. Last bearing two six five. Contact is in the baffles. Well, folks, as you can see, I should be able to disengage uh, safely, so I'm just going to end the recording here. Thank you for watching. Uh, please stay tuned for our next episode.